Hey everyone, I'm Kurt with HomeCiderMaking.com. Today I'm going to be making a follow-up video on the one gallon batch of cider that I started about a week and a half ago. Now this cider fermented pretty quick. You can see that there are no more bubbles coming from the airlock, the yeast has started to fall to the bottom, and the cider is already clearing. Now a couple of days ago I took a hydrometer reading to get an idea of where the specific gravity was. And that, that reading was 1.000. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take another specific gravity reading, compare the two, and make sure that fermentation is complete. As you can see, the specific gravity of this cider is 1.000, which is the same as the reading I took about two days ago. This tells me that fermentation is complete. Now that I know that fermentation is ended, I'm going to finish this cider. Now, I could go ahead and leave it in this one gallon carboy, but I would want to top it up with fresh cider, and that way it would limit the amount of headspace and limit the amount of oxygen that could come in contact with the cider during aging. But for this cider, I'm going to be siphoning it into a half gallon growler. Because we took a couple of specific gravity samples, we don't have a full gallon anymore. So what's left after filling the half gallon growler I'll go ahead and put into this bottle and I'm going to carbonate it right away using the carbonator cap. I have another video about using the carbonator cap in this method, so I'll go ahead and link to that below. But for this video, I'll mainly show you how to bottle in the half gallon growler. Now I want to carbonate the cider that's in this half gallon growler. So to do that, I'm going to measure out 14 grams of dextrose. It's important to accurately measure the priming sugar because if you add too much, there is a chance that the bottles will overcarbonate and then explode, which is very dangerous. So for this half gallon, I'm going to be measuring out about a half an ounce of priming sugar or about 14 grams. With the priming sugar measured, I'll go ahead and add it to my half gallon growler. Now I forgot to mention before, but all the equipment that I have and that I'm using today has been clean and sanitized using one step no rinse sanitizer. It's really important because we don't want any contamination at this point. So next I'll go ahead and siphon the cider into this growler and into my other bottle. To siphon the cider, I'll be using an auto siphon, and this has a bottle filling attachment. It has a small valve on the bottom, so when you place the bottle filler into the bottle and it hits the bottom, it allows the cider to flow, and then once the bottle is full, you'll be able to lift up and the flow will stop. This makes sure that you don't spill any while transferring into your bottles. To use the auto siphon, place it into the carboy, place the other end into your bottle, and give it a couple of pumps, and the cider will begin to flow. After siphoning off the cider, you can see that most of the yeast has been left in the bottom of the carboy, and that's what we're looking to do, separate the cider from the yeast. Now with the half gallon growler full, and only about an inch of headspace left in the bottle, I'll take a clean and sanitized cap, screw it on, and now this bottle is ready to bottle condition and should be carbonated in about two weeks. Now with the cider that I had left over, I put into this 2 liter bottle and I'm going to use this carbonator cap to carbonate it using CO2. 
and then I'll chill it and it should be ready to drink by the end of the day. I'll go ahead and put a link for how to use this carbonator cap in the description below. So go ahead and check it out if you're not familiar with it. Now that's all there is to making a hard cider. If you didn't watch the previous video, make sure you check it out. You'll be able to see how I go about putting together the ingredients, pitching the yeast, and getting started in cider making. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment below. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to learn more about home cider making. And stop by homecidermaking.com to check out all of our recipes and articles about making cider at home. Thanks for watching.